Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I want to thank all of you for participating in the Morning Jumpstart program live on DGTV. We're having a lot of fun with it, and if you haven't joined us yet, please do, or at least take a look at the archives. That link is right here on the email you received with this tune-up. Today I want to talk about people who are constant complainers. They're never happy with, they're never happy with anything that's going on. They seek people out like me to help them, and then all of a sudden they take the advice or they take the protocol that we set up for them, and it works, and then all of a sudden they stop doing it. What is that all about? I run into this all the time when I talk to other physician friends of mine, other professionals, even in other professions that are not even related to neuroscience, and they say the same thing. And what I've come to realize is some people have a habit of complaining. They just have a habit of being unhappy. They realize that when things start improving on themselves, there's a vacancy in their life. Something's different. They're happy. And they're not used to that. Their neurotransmitters are imprinted with misery, imprinted with not feeling good, imprinted with taking up a lot of time just complaining to their friends. And let me ask you this. If you have someone complaining to you, do you want to spend time with them? We have to really take a look at this behavior that's in many of us. I mean, I've even had the same challenge myself sometimes, got good advice, all of a sudden quit doing it right back where I was. If you've been given a protocol by a doctor or even me or someone like me, and maybe it's simple as vitamins, maybe it's simple as just a breathing exercise, and it works for you, and then you stop doing it, and then you're miserable again, and you're consciously knowing that you stopped doing it, what is that about? Ask yourself, what is your intentions behind that? If your intentions behind that is you just don't want to do it, there could be an underlying issue with you that has you imprinting unhappiness as your normal set point. If unhappiness and misery and complaining is your normal set point, you can do something about that, and it starts with the way you talk to yourself. And it also starts with seeking out a professional that's going to do something other than prescribe drugs to you, that's actually going to zero in and chunk down on what specifically is bothering you. Because many times it's an issue we're unaware of, and it's underlying our consciousness. And once that is solved and resolved, all of a sudden things change. So if you're on a protocol and you stop doing it, and you're miserable again, ask yourself this question, how's it working for you? Really think about that with yourself, or if you have a friend that is like that, and they come back and complain to you after they had the problem solved, and now they're back to their old self again, miserable again, and you find out they stopped doing what was working, ask them what was their intention in doing that. You might get an interesting answer. So until tomorrow, let's take a look at that and really examine yourself. Are you like that? And if you find yourself looking at the darkness rather than the sunshine all the time, is it because you like it dark better? Or do you really want to find sunshine and you really want to look at life in a new way, in a bright way, in a happy way? And if you do, then it's your responsibility to do something about it. And if someone reaches out to help you and you choose not to do it, that's your challenge. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary remembering the jump start, 7 a.m. Pacific time in the morning, live here on DGTV and on the tune-ups. Until tomorrow, I'm wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.